Okay, I just received my third Alaska cash box, and I was just going to open it up and show you all kind of what is inside. So stay with us, and I will uh, be right back. Okay, so we just received our, our third Alaska cash box. Um, this is a company that you know I'm not really super familiar with, but um, for Father's Day, my wife signed me up for it because she knows I like Alaska things. So um, this is Alaska Cash Box. It is a company that looks like it's out of Eugene, Oregon. So this is the first time I've gotten two. Well, most times it's just a larger box. So this is a little bit smaller than it normally is, but um, this is a quarterly um, like subscription. Um, this is not a, um, this is just, I'm a subscriber to it and I just wanted to show it. So I'm, this is not a public area, um, promoting of the company, but this is, uh, just, I really enjoy opening them. So I just wanted to share it with everybody. So we'll start with the box. Um, the last one, the first one I got, um, I, I, I really enjoyed it. came with a lot of, uh, like Alaskan teas and, and native art and a CD and a book and and a shirt and uh, some like Northern Lights pictures. The second one I enjoyed a little bit more. It had a bag of uh, of uh, uh, dirt that you could pan and it came with a, a little plastic uh, like gold mining pan and uh, so that you can mine the gold out of the out of the bag of dirt that you get and it came with some um, honey from Alaska and um, some more tea a little bit more art another shirt so just a lot of fun little things that they um, just from across all of Alaska but it just is just a fun thing to have and it's I really enjoy getting them um, every quarter now so start here so it always comes in with this like little saying in the top of the box I don't know if you can see it so it says it comes with some Alaska mist soaps so let's see there's just a pack so first we have a little Alaska decal sticker. That's nice. Another sticker. Uh, let's see. This is well wrapped. Okay, so it's bear mace hot sauce. Uh, you can see the bear on it. Spring mace under the hunter. It's made in Alaska. Boy, that sounds good. I'm gonna enjoy eating that. Oh, look at that. Alaska mist soap. Handcrafted natural. Let's see, there's a little description of it in here. This handcrafted vegan soaps are created in Whale Pass, Alaska, each soap has a wonderful scent from natural essential oils and fragrance. Each soap begins with a fresh, clean Alaska rainwater and then is poured with other natural ingredients into handcrafted Alaska red cedar and oak molds. Ooh. Hmm. See that? Boy, that's some really unique soap. Let's just poke a hole in here and smell it. Mm. Just kind of just smells like regular natural hand soap. Just has a very mild smell. It smells good. I like the design on it. Alaska Mist. That smells good. Okay. So now it looks like we have a, another jam. One of the, I think the first one had 
some uh, salmon berry jam, and it was really good. It was really fun to try. I've never had salmon berries, but so oh, this is uh, rhubarb ginger jam, made in Hines, Alaska. Got a looks like it's got a stringy texture to it. Must be from the rhubarb. Okay, we have a shirt, which is. The uh, I Love Alaska shirt. That's nice. It looks more like a, a girl shirt than a boy shirt. But. Okay, in the next bag. So let's see. Oh, it's written to me. Oh, a picture of a whale. Oh. And there's the mistake. They packed a women's shirt, so uh, they hope to enjoy the men's cut shirt from the clothing companies who heard the mix-up. So it was a women's shirt, so that was nice that they uh, went ahead and sent another one instead of just called it good. Oh yeah, that was... Oh wow, that's a nice shirt. I like that one way better. <laughs> so I really appreciate that they took the time to be. That's that is some really ex superior customer service, I think, because most people would have just said, "Well, deal with it." But that is the opening of the cash box, and again, this is just. Fun little things that's made across Alaska that is sent, and I will uh, try to find the link to her site and uh, and put it in the description below so you guys can check it out. And uh, again, it it is it was really worth the time. It is it's just like getting Christmas every couple months, and it is just you get interesting things that you know living in Missouri you don't ever try. It's salmon berries I've never had salmon berries. I'd never tried a, you know, a ginger rhubarb. I never had soap, you know. Now that I smell it, again, it does smell kind of cedary, a little, like you can smell the cedar mold that it's in, but it's not overwhelming. It's just really refreshing smelling. That I'm going to really enjoy. So, again, thanks for sharing this with me. I'm going to really, really like this bear mace. That's a fun thing, so... Um, if you uh, have ever heard of it, leave a comment below and tell me about your experience of it. It's, uh, it has really blessed us and we really enjoy getting it. So thanks for sharing this with me and I will uh, see you in the next video.